Hello? Bruh. Yes, how can I help Good you? afternoon. Please, I'd like to ask for a favor from you. Okay, how may I help you? Uh, please, I'm going to Bunsu. I came to the bank to redraw money, but it's so unfortunate I left my transaction book. So I'm asking if you could help me with five cities since I'm going to Bunsu. But they have 18 right there, so why don't you go there and use your card instead? Please, I'm very sorry. I packed my stuff this morning, but it's so unfortunate I forgot. So please, if I had my ATM card, I wouldn't be here begging you for five cities. I'm not falling for this kind of tricks. Who go around with babies at your bag begging people for money? I won't fall for these tricks. Oh, bruh, I'm go a around. teacher. I wouldn't be embarrassing myself because of five cities. Please, I'm sorry. I won't be off here, I'm sorry. Find your next meeting. Hi there, I believe you were entertained. Such situation can be very sad. She could be a scammer, she could be telling the truth. But then, what does the Bible say about such? Mark chapter 12, verse 30 to 31 says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. And this is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. In situations like this, just do your part to the glory of the Lord. Your help in times like this could be critical in saving the situation. She is a neighbor in Christ, scammer or not. There are instances where people come to us for help that we can provide and yet turn them down. If we show love, it will be our little way of making the world a better place. This is a Christian Inspirer. See you in the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you.